UN soldiers patrolling Haiti's camps the morning after long-awaited election results were announced. But after months of political tension here, news of a victory for populist candidate Michel Martelly has brought calm to the streets for now. On Monday night, Martelly's supporters started celebrating moments after the preliminary results were read out live on local television. Michel Martelly and the Tête Collé party, 67.5%. And as the news spread, gunfire could be heard echoing around the city. Martelly, a former musician, has campaigned on his appeal as a popular stage performer, winning votes especially among the younger generation. Speaking on Tuesday, he said the results mean that Haiti's political crisis is finally at an end. I'll be a president for all Haitians, without exception. Together, we'll march united for the flag. But Haiti's elections have been marred by controversy with widespread irregularities and a low turnout, raising questions about the vote's legitimacy. Less than a quarter of Haiti's electorate actually cast ballots in the election, but in the camps of Port-au-Prince there's optimism about a man that some feel could represent a break from the status quo in Haitian politics. Gérald de Chéry didn't cast a ballot, but feels that Martelly in the White House would mean a better future for her child. People respected the music Michel Martelly was making before, and he respects us, the people who are suffering. After Aristide, Michel Martelly is the number one choice for the Haitian people. Martelly won't be confirmed as winner until a period for contesting the results comes to an end. But as things stand, Haiti finally seems to have decided who will have the onerous task of trying to put this devastated country back together. Sebastian Walker, Al Jazeera, in Port-au-Prince, Haiti.